Welcome to the first part in this video tutorial series about Snowflake. My name is Sami Rouha and I work as a consultant at Big Data Solutions. So these tutorials are going to be all about Snowflake. It's an analytical database built for the cloud. It's been getting a lot of attention lately and it's not hard to see why. It's really well thought out and easy to learn and works like magic. The reason for these tutorials is to show you really concrete examples on how you can implement Snowflake in your business or specific use cases like, for example, how you can handle semi-structured data in it or how you can import data to BI tools and visualize it or import data from external sources such as AWS or Azure. Here is a picture of a use case that I've been using Snowflake recently for. So a lot of the times you have a situation that you have an application programming interface or API where you can get relevant data out of that you want to use and you want to visualize it in graphs or columns or whatever or just relational tables. But the data that you get from the APIs looks like this. So it's a raw JSON data or XML data or whatever. So yeah, a common situation is that you have these APIs which are illustrated here. So you have different data sources, different types of data, and you want to make use of them. So usually you have a, some kind of automated script, like I have a AWS EC2 that runs a Python script that gets the data continuously from different data sources. The data is then saved to AWS S3 bucket. And when the data arrives in the bucket, I have a snow pipe function which is a feature of Snowflake, which is triggered when new files are loaded into the bucket and it automatically copies the files into tables in Snowflake. And the data is copied as raw JSON, raw XML, or whatever, no transformation is done to the data at this point. So the data is copied into the tables and it's automatically transferred to relational tables. So no matter what types of data you have coming in, everything is working automatically and the end result is relational table that is being queried live in Power BI. Or you could connect Snowflake to any other BI tool, like for example, Tableau has native connectors with Snowflake and the integration is really, really easy. So this is one pretty common use case for Snowflake and this tutorial series is going to be uh, going th be through these kind of cases, like for example, how exactly is the data transformed into the relational tables in Snowflake or how does a Snowpipe function works and this automatic data importing or how you can connect your BI tool to Snowflake or how you can connect Snowflake to external data sources or external stages such as AWS S3 or it could be a Azure block container. This first video is not going to go through all of the menus and selections in the Snowflake user interface or I'm not going to go through all of the key selling points because there's a lot of material on that in the internet and there's other tutorial videos too. So we're going to be posting links with this video where you can read the key selling points from Snowflake documentary etc yourself. So the next videos in this series are going to be handling concrete real life examples, how you can use Snowflake efficiently in your everyday work and just how well it performs on these tasks that it's meant to do. So stay tuned for more videos and see you next time.